what's going on people it's SGZ here from the Spartan game zone and in this video I'll be showcasing the OPQ system in all of its level 72 glory yes not at level 65 thanks to the recent level cap increase all cartel items can be found 15 levels more powerful than before it's back and it's just as good as you remember it maybe even a little better but blame that on nostalgia it may even have stolen the assault rifle crown. I'll be explaining what it does, how you can get it quickly, and give you tips on maximizing its damage. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, and if you want to make sure you don't miss out on any other content I have lined up, then make sure to subscribe, and let's crack into it. So we'll start with how to get this incredibly powerful gun, and as you're well aware, it's exclusive to the cartel event which can be activated from the menu at any time and won't ever be going away. Yes, all previously limited timed events are now here for good. Once you've activated Revenge of the Cartels, you'll want to speak to Maurice on Sanctuary and he'll give you all the deets. It has an increased chance to draw from Josie Bite and Franco Firewall who can spawn in as underbosses outside of the mansion when you kill a cartel member, identified by their glowing bling. After defeating a member, a beacon will summon some cartel support, which may or may not include an underboss. For farming outside of Villa Ultraviolet, Scrap Trap's nest is a must and can be found around in this area of the compactor as part of the Handsome Jackpot DLC. It's a place that reeks of the fear of stairs and weapons like the Breath of the Dying or Reflux are best there. You'll also find them at various places throughout Villa Ultraviolet, but their spawn point will change every time you go in. They could be in the courtyard, out the back, or by Joey Ultraviolet's side, who can also drop it too. On to the OPQ system now, and it's an assault rifle crafted by Atlas. It fires two projectiles per shot at a good fire rate, and deals heavy damage. That damage is amplified by the occasional shock round that deals splash damage, and it also comes with the ability to spawn drones for added firepower. Those drones come in the form of an exact copy of the gun, and shoot wherever your crosshairs are aiming. They will be boosted by any stats that affect you, like the Revolter or Action Skill End Anointments, and do deal decent enough damage. It's an advanced version of the Purple Rarity Q system, better in every way. OP doesn't stand for Overweight Penguins, no, it stands for Overpowered, and it definitely is when compared to a standard Q system. You can see that come through in the damage it deals and the ease at which it can lay waste to crowds of enemies, perfectly aided by the additional explosive shock rounds that give it both an elemental and splash damage factor that it otherwise wouldn't have. That does a lot to make it the weapon it is that has enough splash damage potential for most to utilize, amplifying each explosion that come quick and fast enough to really raise its damage. You'll see health bars steadily drain away, accompanied by chunk after chunk that the explosion rips out of them. For Amara, they provide a damage source that she can tap into, raising their damage through skills such as Tempest. It's quite a unique trait and gives an elemental side to an Atlas gun which is rare to see. The explosions only proc if the bullets hit an enemy and won't otherwise, and you should be wary of their potential to down you, point blank ranges won't be your friend. Anything else will however and it will chew through enemies in quickfire time with shields disappearing even faster than normal. Because it's non-elemental at the heart of it, you're not going to be shooting your best shot all the time but you'll always be shooting something close to it, making it incredibly versatile, equally capable against all health bars. For maximum damage I find it's best paired with the Revolter which you can get from Sumo found around here in Eschaton Row as part of the Director's Cut. It's going to give you a massive boost to shock damage and a fire rate increase as if you needed it. On Moe's the Infernal Wish is the go dropping from this chest in arms race. It's not going to double its damage like with a single palleted weapon but you will get a 50% damage buff all the time. But the Revolter will work for her too just less often. For anointments, consecutive hits, you rad, sentinel cryo if you're Zane or even next two mags will serve well since the anointment nerf, and really you can't go wrong with any of them. Overall it's a well rounded gun that can take on anyone at any time. It deals high damage at a nice fire rate and the shock rounds help to boost its overall DPS. 
You'll see it cut through mobs like the top tier weapon it is, and that built in power also grants it the boss dropper status. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, learned about the OPQ system and how to get it the fastest. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.